All right, guys, we're going to get into Pythagorean theorem um, today, and we're going to be finding the hypotenuse. So we'll get into it right after this. Like I said, we're getting the Pythagorean theorem today, finding the hypotenuse, which is the long side of the triangle. So um, we have three inches, we have four inches, we have X inches. And remember, the long side of the triangle is the longest side because it has the largest angle. This angle is opposite of the hypotenuse. And so the hypotenuse has to be the longest side because it has the largest angle opening to it. So... Uh, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, we, we've we already know some things from past um, classes. Um, what makes a triangle true? Well, the triangle inequality theorem for once, uh, for one, is must be true. The two legs, when in together, must be larger than the third side. All right, so um, three plus four is seven. So, therefore, we know this X inches can't be anything seven or bigger. Um, so, we know it can't be eight. We know it can't be seven. We could be 6.99. Um, we're going to find that out. Now, we are going to need an instrument with us today. We're going to need our calculator. All right. Now, the main button you're going to be using today is we're going to have to take square roots. Um, we're going to take the square root of something to undo it. Um, because the Pythagorean theorem is that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We did the Pythagorean triples last time in our um, video on Wednesday of last week. And so that is still going to be applied today. So um, the main button you're going to need to be using is this X squared button, all right? So the X squared button right there, you'll need to use the second button and then the X squared button. There is a um, thing behind it. It looks, it's, it's a square root. It's like a, it's called a radical. And what it looks like, it looks like this, okay? And so we're going to use that to put our amount that we find for our A squared and B squared. And we're going to put that information inside here. So... And then we're going to find out what square root is. Now, sometimes this may be a very large number as far as decimals is concerned. We're only going to go to two decimal places if needed to go to two decimal places. So um, Pythagorean triple, remember, it was A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, A and B are the legs of the triangle. So we have three inches and four inches for the legs of this triangle. Now, Pythagorean theorem only works on right triangles. Okay. So we have... 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. So because A, B, and then C is the hypotenuse, it's our x. So x squared. So this is an equation. This is what it is. And we have to solve for that equation. So 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. x squared. So now we can add these two together, and that's 25 equals x squared. Now, this is where you're going to come in handy with your calculator. You are going to solve for x. Now, x here is x squared. Well, how do you undo a square? You square root it. That's where that square root is. So we're going to square root this, and it gets x by itself. And so we're going to square root 25. So we're going to hit on our calculator. Now, you may already know what the square root of 25 is. All right, what two numbers multiply together to equal 25? You probably already know the answer. So we're going to hit second. Hit second there. And then we're going to go down to the X squared button. And we're going to hit that X squared button. So that's a square root. See that? That is called the square root. It's called a radical. We're going to put 25 in there. And we're going to find out what two numbers. And make sure we, I always like to just put the, the parentheses at the very end there. Oh. I always like to put the parentheses at the very end there. And so what two numbers makes 25? Well, we're going to hit enter, and it's 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. So x equals 5, and so this is 5 inches. So this hypotenuse is 5 inches. We're going to do another two more examples, and I'll give you a few problems to do on your own um, for your Ed Puzzle today. So we have 10 inches 
and 12 inches for our second one. So these are the legs. Remember, this is the hypotenuse. It's opposite of that 90 degree angle. Remember, that box means it's 90 degree angle. And so, and once again, let's just double check our answer over here. Three plus four is seven. Is seven bigger than five? Yes, that's true. So we know it has to be a triangle. We didn't know how to, it has to be a 90 degree triangle, but uh, we do know it is a triangle. So 10 plus 12. So we know 10 plus 12 is 22. So we know 22, the hypotenuse has to be less than 22. All right. So it has to be less than 22. Um, as far as that's concerned, we know it's bigger than 12, but we know it has to be less than 22. So 10 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. So 10 squared is 100. Uh, 12 squared is 144. Remember, that's just 12 times 12. That's 10 times 10 equals x squared. So I can put those together. I get 244 equals x squared. Now, if you know your perfect squares, we did these earlier in the year, you might be able to figure out approximately what it is, okay? What numbers it's in between, okay? So like 14 squared is 196, all right? And 15 squared is what, 225? Yep, so a little bit bigger than 15 squared. Um, it's 244, so 16 squared would be 296, I believe, or yeah, 256, sorry, it's 256, not 296. So it's in between 15 and 16. So we're going to go ahead and do the second. Hit the second button. All right, we're going to hit that second button. And we are going to hit the X squared button down here. And we're going to put in that value of 244. So 244 in my parentheses. Hit enter, and I get 15.62. Okay, and you get a little long decimal. And the reason why that is... is because it's an irrational number you can't this number right here it goes on forever and there's no um there's no actual you know pattern to it so 15.62 inches so 15.62 inches is the length of our hypotenuse and so 10 plus 12 is 22 22 is bigger than 15.62 so we are good there all right so we're good there we don't have to worry about that let's do one more example and then you guys will have a few problems to do on your own for your Ed puzzle. So um, this one has legs seven inches and nine inches and X inches. So seven squared come on, plus nine squared equals X squared. So we have 49 plus 81 equals X squared. So now you're going to add 81 plus 49. So 81 plus 49. We use 130 for x squared. And so we're going to get another decimal here. It's not a perfect square. So it's 130. So if we do that, we take the square root of 130. Well, 12 times 12 is 144, right? 11 times 11, 11 squared is 121. So we know it's between 11 and 12. Okay. Um, and so that definitely satisfies these two out together. That's 16. It's got to be less than 16, but bigger than 9. It's the longest side. So... We're going to hit that second button once again. We're going to hit that X squared button. And we're going to put 130 in there. And we're going to get 11.40. So 11.4. That means this inch is 11.4 inches. So that is the length of that side of the triangle. Approximately as close as we can get it. Um, and so that is how you find the hypotenuse of that. Now, um, let me think, Ms. Crane, when am I going to use this? Well, um, over last summer, I, I coached um, actually last fall. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen this fall or not, but I coached my daughter's um, rec soccer team. So um, the you know, U6 team. And one of the things as a coach you have to do is actually set up and make the field. You have to put down the lines and have you know it that you have to find the hypotenuse to make sure that the corners, okay, the, the corners where you corner kicks um, that are diagonal from each other. So on one side of the field to the other side of the field. And so if we're looking at a field here, let's say that's a field. This, in order to know that they are squared, you have to find the distance between these two corners and these two corners. If they're the same distance. So you know mathematically what they should be. 
if they're not the same distance, that means your your rectangle is not technically squared. In other words, you don't have 90 degree angles there. It doesn't have parallel lines. And so you tr- obviously you're going to get as close as possible. It may not be perfect, but you know approximately wh- how long that should be from this corner flag to that corner flag and that corner flag, that kind of corner flag. I've also done this when I've um, done work at home, when I poured concrete um, at my old house to make sure that what I was putting in there for part of the driveway was actually square. Okay. So that's something you would do for Pythagorean theorem. All right. That's something in the real world you would do. So let me erase this stuff and let's put up some three problems that for you guys to do on your own. And then you'll do quizzes on this tomorrow. On Wednesday, we will be doing finding the legs, the actual leg lengths of some right triangles. out All right, so these are ones that you guys are going to do. This is 6 inches by 8 inches, 15 inches by 17 inches, 9 inches by 12 inches. So you're going to answer those, put your answers down. Uh, be multiple choice. You just pick the right one. And, um, you know, be safe. Take care, guys. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next uh, um, Fridays. We have our Google Meets. Guys, please, uh, you know, I'd like to see your guys' faces, just see how you're doing, just talk a little bit, uh, and get an update of what you've been doing for the week. Um, it's just nice to see you guys and, and nice to have uh, you to talk to somebody, um, you know, and, and especially talk to you guys because, you know, you guys are my students and you guys are awesome. So let me know what awesome things you're doing or if you're bored of your mind, let me know. Just come here to come to say hi and, and chat a little bit. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Be safe.